Welcome back, guys, and welcome to the final episode of the series. Today we'll be bringing you the highly anticipated route of Perseverance. And by we, I mean Rico. Alright, so we have here Perseverance. This tallest level of Stunt Runner and the final level. This is probably the most anticipated one. My opinion, it has the best skips. Even better than Patience, which is satisfying, but not as satisfying as this. All right, so to start off, I started in the pink lane. It's the best average between all the acts if you want to go for best overall time. So to start off here, we're going to go down the right side. We're going to grab these drinks. We're going to do light and fluffy jumps. What I mean by light and fluffy is you're going to hold down that analog stick or hand facing forward. And you're going to tap your jump button very briefly so that your character only does the smallest jump height possible. What I mean by that is you can see like really shallow jumps, but if you hold it, he jumps a lot higher. And then when you get to this part, this is where the satisfaction begins, all right? When you jump onto that trampoline, you're gonna do a 180 rotate, so you're facing this direction. I'll scoot back here so you can see this visual. When you're facing this direction, you're gonna start a wall run about here. You're gonna then continue that wall run up to that corner, press your character's body against it, and then jump when your feet are about at the top of there. That'll continue and your velocity will increase and you'll become Superman for exactly one millisecond. Probably longer than that. But then you'll just land upon the purple ramp. It's pretty freaking amazing. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Here we go. Jump. Bam. All the way up onto the ramp. Pretty amazing. Am I right, everyone? That's right. I make it look easy. It took me about a week to figure that out, which is pretty sad, but practice makes perfect. I'm not afraid to admit it. So once you're up here, you're gonna jump across and you're gonna do Bathia's amazingly cheaty vertical jump. Which is just amazing. Rec Room's still drifting me. It's pretty annoying. But you can use a boost or not. It doesn't really matter. Just run up against the wall and just like that. Climb up here. Do a 180. Keep jump. Up. Climb up this net. Checkpoint. Since we're already over here, Checkpoint. go down the pink ground. Jump and late wall jump off. You're on top of here. Jump. And come down, slide, jump, and slide one last time. And do not jump off this water slide. Just hold your hands out at button level and slide. And it slams it right into that button. So as you can see, you slide, hit every boost on the way down. When it goes to drop you, if done correctly without Rec Room's slowness bug, you actually just slam yourself straight into that button. That's the fastest way. You jump over, you're risking a lot of, a lot of biscuits there jumping over because you're, you're gonna hit the end thing with the crash mats and you're gonna like hate yourself all night long and here on Matthias channel we don't want you to hate yourself all right just slide easy peasy lemon squeezy One, go. I didn't bring my protractor today, I'm gonna have to apologize. Just when you thought these diagrams were done, you're wrong. Basically the motion that you're gonna end up doing, right? It's gonna end up being like a tornado, all right? You're gonna like... That ain't a tornado. You're just gonna keep rotating around using that fancy snap rotate that Rec Room gave us. This idea was a lot better in my head, believe me. So here we have course six. Perseverance, all right. We got the water slide, totally accurate. This is exactly what it looks like. Except for there's, there's, there's no gap here. That's the only inaccurate point there is here, all right. 
So we have button, all right? If you're coming down this water slide, you're sliding, and you continue that slide all the way until the end, and you don't even want to like cut it off. Just let just let your character fall, and he's gonna have that boost. He's gonna fall, and when you're in the air, you know, right right in this zone right here, you're gonna go ahead. And you're gonna click that fancy slide button down one last time. So that your character, he's gonna just slam into here and you're gonna have so much momentum that you're just gonna go BAM right into that button. Instantly press down. You gotta hold those hands out. If you do some jumping malarkey, you're gonna just soar and then you hit the crash mats and you gotta run back. And that's like that's like ten seconds right there. That ain't worth it. Do the easy route. Easy's always better. I say that, but it's not always every time. You know, but I always said I should go to school to be an artist, am I right? And I've watched his video, I know I'm not number one on that board already, it doesn't matter. I just, I haven't gotten lucky yet. So don't hold it against me, alright? One day though, let me tell you, one day. One day it'll say Rocco up there, I guarantee it. Flow the Flamingo and Rocco. The inseparable duo.